All right, boop. What's up, sluts? On my main channel, I've just recently done the video on speed flips, or in other words, diagonal castle flips. I just wanted to make this quick, like, follow-up video response to that, just to, like, clear up anything that's confusing to people or any concerns that you have in the comments or whatever. So a lot of people were in the comments asking, can I do this with a keyboard? And uh, you know what? I actually didn't know the answer to that beforehand. I had no idea. I didn't even cross my mind. I didn't even think about it. You know, sometimes I forget that there's a whole like group of people who play this game with a keyboard and not with a controller. I actually tried it earlier and I couldn't figure it out, but then I read in the comments. So shout out to this guy, Drapex007. He kind of explained how to do it. Now, I'm not a perfect example for how to do it on the keyboard because I'm not just I'm just not good enough with the keyboard. I'm a controller player, always have been. You know, I'm a GC level player on the controller, but with keyboard, I'd say I'm maybe like diamond, like high diamond. How it works essentially is you have to have Q and E binded as air roll left and right. And I'm assuming that's like a very standard keyboard setup for most people. Air roll right on E and arrow left on Q. So when you're going for the flip, you are holding W to move forward, of course, and then E at the same time. So it'll do something like that, right? So if, if we actually do a dodge, it'll be more like that. After the dodge, the finger that's holding W, you move that to S. I'm not sure what the exact timing there is, but what it should essentially do is kind of turn your car around like that. Right? So, and the l final piece in the puzzle is that you move the finger that's holding E, you move that down to D. Okay? So it's this weird transition where you move both fingers from W and E down. Let me, let me try to give my best go. Okay, I'm holding W and E. Something like that. Okay? That's pretty close. I think that's good enough. That's good enough for the demonstration. I can't do it very consistently. Or maybe I can. It's very interesting. Once you jump, you move this down, and then this afterwards. You j just figure out the timing. I, I can't explain to you exactly how it works. It should be very similar to how you do it with a controller, but it works. It works perfectly, so that's cool. Apparently, Musty in his video had said that the speed flip is only useful in the diagonal kickoff, which I don't agree with that statement at all. I think it's, if you do it right, it's very useful in the straight kickoffs as well. Of course, this is the best one to do it in, but I even use it in this kickoff sometimes, and I feel like I can get dominant wins on even 1v1s if I do that. Musty, the kickoff only works in the diagonal kickoffs. Linkaroo casually does it on every kickoff. <laughs> Dude, I don't care about Musty's limitations. I just do what I want. Okay, I'll just explain why I think that the kickoff works. So first of all, the fact that you get to the ball first because you're faster. That means you're going to make contact before the opponent, and the opponent, he's probably going to be around this area when you make contact with the ball. So he's going to jump around here, but the problem is that I've already hit the ball. I've already hit the ball up. So my car is also in the air because I've jumped before the opponent. The ball's going to bounce and ricochet off, you know, the hood of this car and go up, or it's going to, you know, slam back into me but I'm just gonna deflect it because I'm in the middle of a freaking dodge. So I'm already here, I'm doing my dodge, and then I hit it away. Being good at the speed flip kickoff, it isn't all just about knowing how to do the speed flip. Obviously, you need to have a good basic knowledge of how to do a kickoff in general and like how you win it. And I really recommend watching Fairy Peak's uh, kick 1v1 kickoff tutorial video if you wanna, you know, learn how to win kickoffs in general. Um, I think that'll help you sort of understand and internalize the mechanics behind winning a kickoff and like how does how does the physics work? How do the positioning of the cars and the angles? How does that contribute to you winning a kickoff? And if you understand that well, applying the speed flip to that is is a very good combination. But yeah, I think I'm done. Thank you uh, everybody for clicking onto this. Linkuru, done.